What is up, ladies and gentlemen? UAAP81, it all begins here. Welcome to the vlog. In this episode, we are gonna witness the Ateneo versus De La Salle women's volleyball game. It is gonna be epic. You can see it's really filling up here now. I actually don't have a seat. I got this stamp to get in and I can go to the VIP area and I can walk around wherever I want to, but I don't actually have a seat, so I might have to stand. I'm just gonna be jumping around from spot to spot, getting some cool shots, seeing the best views. It is gonna be epic, guys. I am so excited. Thank you so much, sir. I have the stamp, so I can go in and I can go anywhere I want to, but the seats are reserved. But that man just gave me my own ticket. That was Bernard Oka, a brother of La Salle. He is the president of De La Salle Zobel, which is the high school of De La Salle. And under his leadership in the Office of Sports Development, DLSU won their very first all-round championship title. I can feel it in the air. The entire Araneta Coliseum is just filling up with energy right now. People are buying their snacks. There's a drum band playing at the entrance, hyping everybody up. It is really filling up right now. I think I'm on the Ateneo side. Yeah. Am I on the Ateneo side? Yes, you are. I see all the school colors here, blue and white. They're also carrying these big sponge tubes. The vibes are good here, guys. The vibes are good. On the Ateneo side, everything is good. Let's go check out how the De La Sol side is doing. Oh yeah, La Salle side is doing good too, guys. We have a team with the longest winning streak of the season. <laughs> Facing off against a team looking to secure a final four spot as crowds cheer on So the teams have just come onto the field and the crowd is going wild, people. The energy levels really are rising like crazy here. You guys are cheering for us all? Yes, nice. Okay. All right. Ateneo currently has the longest winning streak of this season. However, De La Sol are the defending champions. They won three years in a row, UAAP champions. So we have Ateneo, the team with the longest winning streak this season, versus De La Sol, the current defending champions. I don't think it can get more heated than this, guys. Whew. This Coliseum is almost bursting into flames. So I'm here to enjoy the sportsmanship and the school pride and the vigor that these athletes are performing with. I am completely impartial here. I'm not supporting any particular university. Um, I'm just here to enjoy the match. The teams are having their warm-up sesh now. Right there we have Ateneo, and here we have La Salle people. For this game, La Salle versus Ateneo, we can really see that the stadium is completely filling up to the brim, guys. This is a lot of people here. This stadium is almost completely full and it houses 25,000
thousand people. And now let's hear you cheer for the team currently at number one, the Athenae. city with this energy in the stadium. Wow, and the holes are dead silent. Everybody is watching the game right now. I'm gonna make my way up so we can get a nice top view. I think I'm going deaf. Everybody is so excited. Everybody's yelling so loud. Back to the game. It's crazy. Those are the Ateneo drummers, guys. Drumming the day away. We call the Blue Babu Battalion. what the La Salle side is up to because one thing's for sure the energy on the Ateneo side is booming people you can see that we're back on the La Salle side because everybody's wearing green all of a sudden <laughs> for DLSU so they're in the lead so they are hopeful here they are excited they're happy it's a very close match this is insane this is next level energy and in the hallways it is quiet and empty but you can hear the cheers and the yells from inside the Colosseum and it is making the ground tremble. Literally this Colosseum is shaking on its very foundations. Even now there are still people entering the building even though the game is full swing. points for La Salle. First set goes to La Salle. Just experiencing the energy here. It's incredible. I'm absorbing all the energy in this Colosseum and I feel like I can live to 200 years old. Set number two, baby. Set number two. Biggest Ateneo fan in the whole stadium. La Sol really is. Cute. 
killing it right now. There is a timeout now, and I'm very glad about that because during a timeout I can cool down a little bit, guys. But this is intense. Okay, I got my seat. Thanks to Sir Bernard here. DLSU is doing really well right now, guys. Absolutely amazing.
bubble of energy right here. This whole stadium is just a bubble of energy. The holes are filling up. People are leaving the stadium. That was an incredible game by two incredible schools. So many amazing plays. However, De La Sol came out on top. The energy on both sides was just incredible and I'm so fortunate that I got to experience this firsthand sitting in the middle of the crowd. Wow. I've also lost a bit of my hearing, but uh, it was totally worth it. Happy Lasallians coming down the stairs right now. Buying their school merch so they can represent their schools to the fullest. Okay, I found a big Ateneo fan, right? Big Ateneo fan here. Are you Ateneo fan? Yes. Because of Valdez. Valdez. But he's a good player. And just like that, the holds are empty. But check this out, guys. If you have only seen this part, don't forget to watch part one, which is Adamson versus University of the East. Links will be in the description and the pinned comment. If you want to keep up to date with Flying Kel, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell, people. And then I shall see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, take it easy.